Last week, the school's theater program performed the Seussical. Seussical is a musical comedy based on Dr. Seuss's stories. In case you missed it, Maggie and Leslie recorded some highlights. You'd expect to see books or computers in a library, but not a garden. Ian and Ethan checked out the STEM Academy's new hydroponic system. What is this, you might ask? It's a hydroponics garden, of course. A gardening system that is kind of self-watering and allows the plants to grow in um, a setting that is more interior and has less kind of natural um, surroundings. Miss Doran leads the STEM Academy. She helps develop and manage the projects like the hydroponic garden for the academy. All of the students, um, but it's been a great benefit for our STEM Academy students to be able to both see a very DIY, you know, do-it-yourself version of this system that often has some expensive kits you can buy. This was a very kind of cost-effective way to build something like this. The student board of the academy had the idea for the garden. And it was all about building it ourselves rather than just buying a commercial hydroponic system. Yeah, exactly. It's that fun combination of a meaningful challenge for us while also producing a tangible good that's worthwhile for the community and educating people along the way. Although the garden is just growing small leafy greens right now, the STEM board hopes to grow complex plants in the future. For ATV News, I'm Ian Campbell. And you can check out the garden in the library. Thanks, Ian and Ethan. We don't usually see cowboys and aliens in the halls, but during Spirit Week, anything goes. Yes, these cowboys are representing the first of four theme days. As much as I would like to see Athens cowpoke on the regular. And he's not the only one hooting and hollering. Because me and my friends find it funny. So I have a lot of America themed and a lot of cowboy stuff. Oh, since it's Spirit Week, I, I knew I kind of had to, and I've always dressed up every time I've been in any Spirit Week. But it wasn't all Western wear. The next day, it was aliens. Oh, I just like, I came up with it off the top of the dome. Um, the makeup took me a hot minute, not gonna lie. I'm excited for Friday football. And all this excitement was for homecoming. Every year, Athens holds impressive theme days, but this homecoming season, they really outdid themselves. Especially with the senior hall, where you can see this year's Toy Story theme in full display. But why Toy Story? Yeah, Toy Story is um, really popular. I think a lot of people um, know it, and they can understand how to dress for it, and it's going to really pump up the school spirit, yes. Well, it certainly did pump up the school spirit. For ATV News, this is Daniel and Riley. 
From dresses and shoes to jewelry and hair clips, every year the Athens Drive Student Council puts on the Cinderella Project. During a recent lunch, the library was filled with dresses and jewelries galore. A bunch of people came and got their prom look ready. It looks really pretty on you. What makes the Cinderella Project so great is that each dress, bracelet, and shoe is 100% free for everyone. Linda is a student. She came to look for a dress. Although this seems like a seamless, fun project, there's a lot of work that goes into it. We started on a Wednesday, so the Tuesday before, Woody came in and helped to set out all the dresses and the shoes and the jewelry and things like that. Um, One of our student council junior co-presidents, Paige Parrish, helped organize this experience. I think it's really cool that we as a school just have an opportunity to give everybody like a magical experience at prom. The Cinderella Project did only run for two days, but don't worry if you missed it. It will return again next year. Just like, there were so many people that looked so good in their prom dresses, and hyping them up was my favorite thing. <laughs> We've seen all the dresses and glass slippers, but where are the pumpkin carriages? On prom night, maybe you will get to complete your fairy tale. For ATV News, I'm Summer Lasky. Blueprints is the Athens Drive Art Journal. It's taking submissions of poetry, fiction, nonfiction, visual art, and performance art from now through March 30th. Submit your work via the QR codes on posters around the school and unzip your creativity. Hi, Hi, we're, we're your Blueprints, Blueprints head, head curators. curators. I'm Mia, and I contribute performing arts. I'm Lena, and I contribute poetry. Welcome to Blueprints. Let's meet some of our curators. Hi, we are the design team. Our mission is to make the Blueprint accessible, approachable, and appealing as possible. Hey, do you have a powerful message and enjoy performing spoken word? So make your poetry to the poetry curators and we'll make sure your voice gets heard. We take all forms of poetry, from free rights to forms. We want you to come and submit your work to Blueprints. Have a love for anything story related? Want to spread it through the school? You've come to the right place. Here in the pro section, you can submit anything from fiction to facts to a mixture of both. Love to express self in creative ways? Why not try performing arts? Where you can sing, dance, perform cool feats, or, or act. Performing arts is a versatile medium where you can express yourself in a, a variety of ways to have a strong audience. So make your performances at Blueprints today. Welcome to Blueprints! As you scan across, you can see that section cuts all throughout his body. Remember dissecting frogs in middle or grade school? Imagine that with a person, only instead of the ickiness of guts and blood, you get to be immersed in the Athens Drive Z space. Located near Student Services, this virtual reality lab allows students to experience and explore topics including anatomy, geometry, exploring historical places, and so much more. It really allows for things that wouldn't be possible to study in a typical classroom setting to be available to everyone. We're at the top where his brain is, you can, if you can see an orange line, it goes Right here you can see his eye sockets start to come into view. Ms. Hartenstein is the Athens Drive Magnet Coordinator. She is essentially the brains of the operation. The Z-Space Lab offers many different self-paced programs. The lab has been collecting dust since COVID, but recently Mr. Harrington's AP Psychology class visited the room. They used the lab to take a deeper look into the brain and its structures. Teachers are encouraged to use the Z-Space in their own classroom, as Ms. Hartenstein recently held a meeting in the lab to bring awareness back to it. Maybe now you'll be able to experience something completely unique that could open up new horizons. For ATV News, I'm Mae Tipton. You'll never believe what I ran into today, May. What did you run into, Carolina? These horrifying goats. Oh no, speaking of goats, Carolina and Skylar got a look at our school's animal science course.
It's hard not to notice the animal life here around Athens. Behind the school, you've probably seen some of our very own goats. The reason why we have them, and other animals, is thanks to the Animal Science Program through our Health Science Career Academy. Students get literal hands-on experience with handling all kinds of animals. A lot of the students are very um, excited about the snake. We have three goats, a rabbit, guinea pig, lizard, and snake. The Animal Science Program is geared towards preparing students to pursue a future in veterinary medicine and any agri-science applications. So in Animal Science 1 especially, we focus a little bit more on the employability skills at the front. So we do public speaking, we learn kind of business management, and then we kind of move into different aspects of animal science. And then once we finish all eight animals, you can eat your animals. This is an animal diet lab, where they ate snacks that were meant to represent different parts of an animal's diet. This is one of the many labs students in the animal science program get to participate in. But one of the biggest projects the students partake in is known as the SAE, a semester-long project where students earn 10 to 50 hours in different fields of agriculture. Grace Murray is a senior who had time to acquaint herself to the program and the animals. While students in the program learn these major skills for their future, they also make amazing animal friends in the meantime. We also really enjoyed making friends with the animals during our time here, but it's time for us to go back to class. <gasps> Don't eat my pants. I'm Carolina Lewick with ATV News.